Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tech Super channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to consume messages from a stream using the streaming adapter. In the previous two videos, we have seen how to create a connection with streaming using the streaming adapter. And in the one in the one video, we have seen how to publish messages in the streaming. Now, this is the time to consume messages from the streaming service. So let's go ahead and then let's look at this. So guys, before we start, I will ask everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. One more useful information I would like to give you here. I have written a book on Visual Builder, which is a low-code development tool, which will help you to build web and mobile application very quickly. So if you're interested, to learn this technology, you can buy this book and you can go to this link https colon slash slash pack dot live slash three mw snr seven, which will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy this book. Now let's get started and see how to consume messages. Okay, so uh, we have created this integration to publish messages. Now let's create another integration. I will create a schedule based integration. Okay, let's say consume messages okay and then click on a create button now this is a schedule integration this is going to be a very simple integration okay now what i'm going to do i am going to simply use my streaming adapter okay and here what i'm going to do i am going to use consume messages okay and click on the next button Okay, it's already there. Maybe I don't need to give it next. And then here we have two options consume messages from a stream and then consume messages from a stream by specifying specifying a offset. Okay, so there are two options. Okay, so if you select the second option, consume messages from a stream by specifying a offset. What is offset? Offset is nothing, it is the location of the message from where you want to read like from the 10th location, from the 11th location, from the 10th, 12th location. So you can use this uh, option when you want to specify the offset and you want to read it from there. Okay, so this is the this is that option. If you select this, then you will get all these options. You will simply select the stream and then party, not partition even. So when you select this offset option, you don't get, you don't need to select the partition okay you simply select the stream from where you want to read the message and then structure and then header okay but if you select this mess if you select this option consume message from a stream so you will have a different set of options like stream and then partition and then here you have to choose the consumer group okay the consumer group is nothing it's just like a simple i string which you need to put here and then all the all the consumers will be connected to the same partition to consume the messages to make sure the duplicate message is not picked up okay so so you can specify a consumer group let's say my test consumer group you can specify the multiple by specifying the comma and then you have to specify the option for consuming messages like read latest or read from beginning so read latest and read from beginning, we have other two options, read latest and then read from beginning. Okay, so I will use this read latest, okay? And here you can also provide the number of records to be fetched, you know? Yes, means like the total number of messages you want to fetch at a particular time, okay? So I'll not put anything. Okay, and do you want to specify the message structure? Yes or no? Okay, do you want to specify the header for the messages? Yes or no? Totally depends on you. I will keep everything as it is and click on next button. Consumer group test CJ. Next. And here I'll say I would like to use this sample JSON. Okay, and will use my opportunity dot JSON. Okay, and click on the next button and then simply say done. Okay, what I can do, I can loop over that. Okay, maybe I, I will have multiple messages in a particular, at a particular time. So all the messages will be read from the stream. So I will use a for each 
okay and here you see consume messages it's a response message output collection and here you see message is the array type so what i will do i will simply say this is a repeating element and i'll say name let's say loop over messages and then let's say current click on a create button okay after that also i will use one more loop okay which will read which will loop over the collection of opportunities okay so i will use another for each loop okay so here you see uh, current message so request wrapper and then content and then lot more so i have this top level array okay because the sample json which i have selected having the array type of opportunity so i will loop over here and will say loop over opportunities okay and here i will say current opportunity and click on a create button okay so i have these two loops okay inner loops okay one is for opportunity and second is for messages so what i'm going to do i'm going to put a logger here okay here let's say print offset okay because every message will have its own offset so here what i'm saying you see a uh, current message status header and in the config parameters it will have the offset okay so i will say concat uh, offset is I'll simply print offset here. Maybe I need to put double quotes here. I'll say current offset. Current offset is this. Okay, it was because of comma. Pause. And then I will put one more logger here. Logger under this okay Good. let's say print opportunity and then always add it and i'll say concat of name okay and then it will be for my current opportunity it will be like a op name and then i'll say I'm just printing two things opportunity and then amount. That's fine. And then, okay, close, validate, and then close. Okay, that's it. Let me simply go ahead and then enable the tracking. And then simply save it, save, and then close. Activate this integration. Let me produce uh, some, some, let me just publish some messages, text using that integration. I go to this body, I have one message, this opportunity means in a single, we have four, okay? Let me just simply say, I will use test opportunity four. Let's say test opportunity. Okay, so that I can show you. Let's say it's a one, it's a two, and then maybe let's say it's a hundred k. It's a net two hundred. Okay, test. Okay, one. Let me test one more time. Let's say it's a three. It's a three hundred. It's a four. It's a 400 okay test now if i go to my stream here i should have two messages okay if you click on load message you see i have two and one is having the 31 offset and second is having the 32 offset 
okay you can see test of one amount is 100 okay for another test of two and amount is 200 same for this three 300 four and 400 let's try to test this process now okay consume messages submit let's see what will happen now let me just simply click it here and you see indication is completed let me show you here you see i have three iterations why so it should have only two let me see okay go you see the first iteration the the, okay it might be possible that i have one more message to read okay maybe okay so when i click on load message it will show you the last it will show you the message of the last minute maybe i have published uh one message before that's the reason, that's the reason it is not showing here but you see it was offset was 30 and another two was 31 32 that's fine that's the reason it is showing three iteration 30 and then four begin for each loop over if you see this payload you can see it was like test of 400 okay this guy close okay uh 30 that's fine payload iteration one it has test opportunity for thousand okay and then begin for each loop over iteration two okay and then for this opportunity name implementation of api gateway 2000 iteration three okay 5000 new opportunity for migration amount and for for each loop and for each loop message and then second iteration on the message and here you see 31 offset this one okay and then we have this payload okay test of 100 and then test of to 200 and for each because i have only two opportunity there and then begin for loop message iteration three and then the offset is 32 okay and then this is how it is going so this is how you can consume messages from uh from the history so guys that's all i do have for this video if you like this video please like comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates you can find me on linkedin twitter facebook you can always see my blog https colon slash slash www.taxover.com thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye